Great to have you join us on this week's episode of Art House. I'm Melinda Kinlami. Let's check out what we have for you on this week's episode of Art House. This week, echoes of the drum by National Troop of Nigeria. An open studio at Welders Cathedral in Ileife. Details of that and much more when we return in a moment. Do stay with us. Our wordsmith for this week is by Tomiwa Adelagun, titled Virtuous Woman. This woman has fought a thousand battles and is still standing. This woman has cried a thousand tears and she's still smiling. This woman has been broken, betrayed, abandoned, rejected, but she still walks proud. This woman laughs loud, lives without fear, loves without doubt. This woman is beautiful. This woman is humble. This woman is you. The National Troop of Nigeria stages yet another play which adopts the concept of the total African theater been wondering what is about to happen here. You see, many years ago, a culture and tradition evolved in the western part of this state, where clans with drums lineage, endowed with skillful and stylistic and creative drumming exist. Just as some are known for leather designs, some with creative ability to make shoes for high chiefs, some are created with everyday celebration of masquerades, while others are dancing clients. They dance for dignitaries. They thrill people with their telepathic movements. So do the household of the Agole Ayon. This is the drummer's home, the clan of the drums. Once in a while, they throw you logic to the drums. They celebrate the drums. <laughs> It's one production that challenged me in several ways, you know, uh, especially as a total African theater. It's one production that I had to task everything with the uh, uh, music, drama, dance, chanting, you know, drumming, everything. It's actually like a festival production, you know, and um, the, the concept is actually to bring about something that is celebrative, you know, for the uh, 62nd independence anniversary of the country. It's titled Echoes of the Drums, directed by Mike Anyawu and written by Ola Wakon at the Muson Center, Lagos. Mama, you 
The play is set within a clan of drummers and narrates how triplets, whose mother died at birth, were brought up by their father through the way of the drums. And here they are, ladies, people. <laughs> here they are, all grown up. The first being a wobbler. up to know is about drumming and so on. But at some point they felt they have learned a lot en enough about the drumming culture of their land and sought to venture to other lands to get to know what happens as we more like you know discovering the world. But in the process of course it's like life. You meet obstacles you have to overcome obstacles, you have to aspire, and so on. So, but along the line, of course, as, even as triplets, they had issues, misunderstanding, and so on, separated. They had to go their various uh, ways, you know. But even at that, they found out that surviving on their own as individuals is more difficult. I'm the second on the Generally, I think um, what the message we are we're sending, and as it applies to our nation, Nigeria, is that um, a man can form an island. So we have to get support from here and there and come together to form one body. And that's how we can restore peace back into this country. So I think we're just talking about unity in, diver in diversity, regardless of your status, regardless of uh, your gender, regardless of your tribe. And the third. It also looks at the, the evolution of the first triplets in Southwest. It also looks at um, the, the, the three styles of um, uh, theater, um, the, the poor theater, the pure theater, the Jesse Grotowski style of theater, and other styles of theater. I try to break the fourth wall on stage. At, it's like there are a whole lot of uh, experiments put into Echoes of the Drum. And it's like the first of its kind drum drama. We've seen dance drama, we've seen dance, we've seen drama. This is the drum drama. Reality and tradition say that Oko is the eldest. So I remain the eldest. Let me talk. I saw us okay. Yes, I will saw us okay. Survival is all about self. Without you, Ayola Day, or you, Onu Day, I can survive. Uh -uh. That's the truth. So make you with your power, weapon, and level of wisdom. Then I, our Bola, shall make do with mine. If the gods say that we shall meet at home, so good a thing. And if the reverse is the utterance of the gods, who are we to, to, to counsel them? Uh, uh, what are you insinuating? Brother, if the West favors you, take the path. The more you can explore, the better for the three of us. I, our Bola, I shall take the North. And the East, nor South, Remains a virgin pole to the three of us. And you all have to strive for a success there. Okay. If your plans remains your path, then so be it. But remember what Father said. That, that we should see ourselves as a collection. No, 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 
explore its reason. In fact, you can go with uh, Olude with the drop. Let me tell the two of you. You both can survive even without anomaly. Ben. Brothers, brothers, let's continue to move now. Let's move as one. Let's continue to move like a bunch of a brew. Let's live as one. We all have our different abilities, different powers, different uh, gifts, talents that God bestowed on us. So that if we use them in collective, that it's going to work fine for us. But if we decide to disintegrate ourselves, it's not going to work. And that's what only they stands for. Only they try to bring peace among his brothers. But at the end of the day, you know, they all went their separate ways. But things weren't okay, fine for them. So. But by the time they encountered different challenges, they all came back and they felt, wow, there is, there is power in collectivity. As expected, in such a narrative, there's a lot of drumming mixed with singing, dancing, chanting and other festivities which celebrate the richness of the African tradition as key elements. Yes, 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 that reminds me. Yes, I remember. I remember how Olodumare showed me how Shongo, a beautiful dancer, is always accompanied by Sate, an expert drummer. They were closely knitted at performance, at public functions and festivals. Then one day, an argument ensued between the two of them over the sharing of some of, of, of some gifts they, they got after a performance. Then Shongo decided to dance alone and was liking to be a madman. Shongo's hmm. wife, Oya. Yes. Oya was instrumental to the reunion of the two friends. Their friendship got stronger and better. Now, nothing, I mean nothing, can stop, can, can stop Shongo, can separate Shongo from the echoes of Bata and Omele. Mm. I see. Yes, and I think we should go home. Yeah, brother, I think it is time to go home. They have promised to showcase to the people what they have brought back from the different parts of the land they traveled to. What can be greater than that? In fact, what are we waiting for? Let the celebration continue! Lovely performance there. Now let's take a moment on the program when we return, your works of art and much more. Join us again. During Design Week Lagos, you'll be expecting to see exhibits, both international and local brands. Um, and then we have product designers showcasing different objects from furniture pieces to installations to um, lamps, just people showing their creativity. And we have, we have different talks. Um, talks about how to set up a home, um, what you need to do, design as a global conversation, design as a sustainability. So we have like different talks, it's a, it's a, it's a packed festival. And these are the works of art you sent in this week. Let's begin with Eitayo Alagwe's Beauty in African, done with charcoal and acrylic on canvas. Then Kofi John also has this one, done with acrylic on canvas, called Behind the Doyen. Chuku Okwala has Investment One, a charcoal pencil on paper piece. While Senatus has this one he calls Insight, done with collage and acrylic on canvas. Then Emmanuel Gareth has 
This one he calls Galleon Neptune is done with oil on canvas. Togetherness is a mixed media work done by Wale Omoshola. And this one called Future Focus is an acrylic on canvas piece. While Joshua Oyebukola has growing amongst hills, a charcoal and pencil on canvas work. Then Gamma Bugama is just in love with this American veteran actor with this portrait of Morgan Freeman done with black pen on paper. And another person we celebrate in a celebrity is Kendia Folabi. He loves Tiwa Savage and he has rendered her with this charcoal and pencil on canvas work. And that concludes the works of art you sent in this week. We appreciate you as always for sending them in and encourage you to keep them coming. Experimentation is the unparalleled freedom of whatever comes to the mind of a creative in the use of ideas and materials. With novel ideas, styles, techniques, and found objects which was once trash, these group of young artists converge on the Welders Cathedral in Ilefe, Oshun State, for a metal sculptural exhibition. I am so happy to host uh, 10 artists in my studio today. Uh, the event today is called An Open Studio, where uh, I give opportunity to people to visit my studio to see works that are done by my mentees. Uh, over the years, I have had the privilege of teaching or inspiring a lot of young uh, dynamic artists in Nigeria and across the globe. And today I decided to show 10 of them. Once again, Dautung Pokwala, a contemporary metal artist with a special interest in environmental decorum and the need to repurpose the large waste threatening the ecosystem, is hosting some of his mentees, giving them space to exhibit their creations. You know, these guys are putting all their energy, their time, their effort, they are putting all their spirit to, you know, to create those amazing works that they did today. And I, fi I find it uh, so interesting and uh, so happy to host them. Beyond this opportunity to learn and display their craft, these sculptors will be followed up and all the rough edges will be smoothened in order for them to become a formidable force that can go global. And I'm exhibiting three wonderful art pieces here. Uh, the first one is Ashake, which uh, I made um, an eagle. Yes, an eagle bird. And the second one is Sisi, a parrot bird. And the last one is a Itutu Uro, which is a new dawn. And that's um, a core called uh, N. Yes, so I made this out of uh, metal straps, uh, metal sheets, and I also use them. Um, I also explore cutleries, which was um, fork and um, spoons, knives, just to create a wonderful piece that you're seeing here behind me. Most of my art, I, I, I make them to answer the questions I faced while I was growing up, and I'm still answering them. For people like me who are out there, that has the same kind of question, that they, they can tap inspiration from my art and give themselves hope. My, my, most of my art are, 
uh, to give you hope, I use mostly binding wires. I twist my binding wires. I want to, I want to make you ask that question. I want to show, spot out that question. Why and what? You can question the society. You can question the things you need. And with that, you can get an accurate answer for yourself. Uh, this work behind me, uh, the title is Bella. It's made out of scrap and it's a mini wooden door. It's made, out, it's made out of concrete nail. I bend the nails to make sure uh, to fit with the flow of the air of the dog. Because the, air, the dog is a fluffy animal and it has a lot of air. So I use the nail to bend to show the fluffy type of the air of the animal. Because when going through all these scraps around, I was trying to look for a better material to capture the fluffiness of the animal. So I just decided to use nail because I think that's the only material I can use that would fit in and show the fluffiness and the flow of the air of the animal. This method of turning waste to alluring works of art shows that with the right investment and support, this is a gold mine waiting to be tapped, one that can create more jobs, grow the economy and take dirt off the streets. This is the first time I will see a single artist mentoring a lot of upcoming ones to become a greater person in this skill of this weathered metal art. As in I marvel at the, the brilliance, the intricacy, the details, going from scrap to beautiful subjects of art. I mean, I've been, it's been so wonderful from all the artists, each artist have a certain uniqueness to all the pieces out here today. And I'm really not disappointed because I saw the horse in Dubai by Mr. Dotto Popola and I knew coming here today, I'll be in for more surprises and so far it's been awesome. The mentees with one female leading the pack has Christina Adrenayo, Usama Patrick, Mohamed Jamal, Ibe Dominic, Oluafemi Anyawale, Kendi Ogunlami, David Adibayo, Joseph Alabisi and Taufik Oluashehu all displaying their beautiful and carefully crafted sculptures in different forms and design, with each one passing diverse messages. And for what to look forward to the next time you tune in, take a look. Coming up on the next edition of Art House. Face the Nation, a solo show at Paces Gallery. And then, Wanda, a celebration of being in culture. encourage you to keep liking, sharing and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. That's how we draw the curtain on this week's episode of Art House. Thank you so much for being a great part of it as I look forward to interacting with you on any of our social media platforms. I'm Melinda Kinlami. Stay safe and keep being creative. Mm -hmm.